Hey guys, so I wanted to show y'all real quickly my shoe haul from the other day. The clothing portion of the haul, I've already filmed and it's up. I'll link that down below. Um, these are all the shoes that I grabbed the other day when I was out thrifting by myself while Tyler was at his conference. And I'm really excited to show you guys what all I got. Um, let's start with actually my favorite pair of shoes right here. This is a pair of really cool free people um, heels. They're really neat. They're like brand new. These are really cool because they wrap all the way up um, your ankles. So it's like kind of a gladiator style, um, which is really neat. So yeah, these were one of my favorite finds. They um, have the leather that wraps all the way up and they're in excellent condition. They've got the wood bottoms and then these actually still have the tag thing on them. I want to do a little research because the tag's a little weird on the bottom, um, but they are a size 37. So those were a favorite find. I'm going to set these over because they've got so much leather on them. Um, then I grabbed these cute little um, Nine West heels. They're in really great shape and that's the only reason I grabbed them is because they're in great condition. They've got the cute little back, a um, little detail up front. And they're a size seven and a half. So I got those. Then these, I'm kind of a dummy. I wasn't paying attention. I just grabbed these because they were in excellent condition. And I saw Coach in four. I was like, wait, is that like a line of Coach brand? Because it looks just like the Coach logo to me. Um, but they're not. These are like a DSW brand or like Steinmart brand. But they were half off, so I didn't mind that. Um, I got those. Then these are some Mo and Bone or Mo and Bonnie um, kind of like loafer stacked heels. Um, got those. These are some eco vegetable tanned sandals. They're in really good condition. They are a size 10. So I got those. This is the brand that I was talking about in the thrift with me video. They're called Sass. Um, that's the bottom. Um, they're like an older ladies shoe they make some men's shoes too but they're really really comfortable and they're very expensive retail and I actually do pretty well with these so I always pick them up if they're in good condition and not super expensive then these were really pretty they're like brand new couldn't really see hardly anywhere on them they are Kelly and Kate they're just like a little cute little pump heel then I got these Sam Edelman leather wedge sandals with the cork. Then these are just some Vera Bradley, simply Vera um, loafers. They're really cute. I like the like embellished detail. So I grabbed those. These are some Colin Stewart heels and I liked the chunky wedge leather and wood, uh, not wedge, the chunky heel with the leather and the wood. And there's some scuffs on here, but I'm gonna show y'all in another video a really cool way to fix the wood on heels and it's there's a hint it's very much like fixing wood furniture so that's really cute I loved those um, then I got these Franco Sarto leather and rope style ankle strap wedges they're size 9 then I grabbed these leather booties here they're a wedge booty. They are by um, Spica, Spica. I can never say this right. It's a vintage shoe company. They really make some cute stuff and I always do well with their leather shoes. Then these are some vintage Salvatore Ferragamo boutique leather wedge shoes. They're kind of like more modern now. Like I feel like these are the shape of shoe is kind of in right now. I think Everlane or one of those brands has something similar. So I thought those would do pretty well. This is another pair of the SAS shoes that I was talking about here. Um, these are a larger size. They're a size 11. That's actually the largest size I've ever found in them. So excited to give those a go. Then I grabbed this pair of Keds. They're called Pro Keds. I've never seen this kind before, 
but they're really cool and I was thinking well if they don't sell or if they're not worth a lot I didn't research them but if they're not worth a lot I might just keep them because they're kind of cool I think they're like really cool streetwear and I got a pair of cowboy boots here they are a Wrangler brand so I grabbed those they're like the Wrangler green and they've got a little bit of issue right here but I can fix that with the leather then some Vans galaxy style I'm pretty sure I saw like secondhand swagger one of those guys with these um showing them so I picked up them I've, I haven't been picking up Vans a lot but I figured I'd give them a go because I see other people doing really well with them then this is a cute pair of lucky brand leather ankle booties um they are like a suede material there's the lucky brand logo on them i got it here so i grabbed those they are a size eight and a half then some lucky brand black stretch wedges these are some nine west leather booties i'm not sure if they're actual real leather or not i need to look um but they were a size 11 and um, nine West, I normally don't buy, but unless it's like a really large size, so 11, 12, and 13, I always tend to pick up in the nine West shoes and I tend to send them overseas. Like I'll list them on eBay. And for some odd reason, they always seem to go to Germany or like Austria. Don't know why. And then I got a, another pair of Sam Edelman, um, cute little, um, sandals. These were in great condition, except for the bottoms. They just need a little cleaning. Other than that, there's not really any wear. And they've got like a pony hair detail on the strap. So I got those. This is a pair of Seychelles. Um, they are sold like an anthropology. These are brand spanking new. Like they don't look like they've been worn hardly at all. Maybe one wear. Um, really nice shoe. Got those. They're a size eight. And then last but not least, I grabbed these cute little Winnie the Pooh slide sneakers. I don't know. I always do well with Disney shoes and I grabbed them. So we'll see how they do. They need a little cleaning. And there's a little bonus for y'all. There is a Yoda in the Ikea bag because those are his second home. <laughs> Sorry for taking away from the shoe haul. But I figured y'all want to know what the noise was going on. It's a Yoda in a bag. <laughs> and a Tyler. Say hi, Tyler. What's up, guys? Mm. Got a present. He's got a present for y'all. But yeah, that's a Yoda in a bag. <laughs> and this was our haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the shoes that we grabbed. Um, well, that I grabbed because Tyler was in his little thing. And please, as always, like and subscribe to our videos. If you have a video request, please comment it down below. Or if you have any questions, please let us know. Oh, and I was going to mention also, um, I'll link down below my video that shows how I clean the bottoms of shoes. I have a couple of shoe cleaning videos out right now, so I'll link those down below as well. And Yoda says, bye. Please like and subscribe to my mommy's page. Bye.